Okay. Okay, well then. I went from an idea on January 1st to legitimately having a prototype booster box in my hand, dog. Like, this is real. Like, this is the real deal. Like, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. Um, I, I am just in awe right now. Um, okay, so listen, here's the deal. I'm gonna open up the first ever Elestrals prototype booster box. It's got the little peace stamp. Only 50 of these booster boxes are ever being made. That's it, 50 booster boxes. I have all 50 in my house. I'm gonna be sending some of them out to friends of mine, you know, some people who worked on the project, things like that. Uh, this is not the final release, obviously. These were actually put to print uh, probably about uh, four or five, five or six weeks ago. So a lot of the cards are out of date now at this point in terms of their effects or things like that. So, but that's not what this is for. What I decided to do, what's up, Phoebe? What I decided to do is to me, this whole project, I needed to see every step of the way. I needed to make sure that everything looked the way I wanted it to look and I could work through some of these potential issues as I go. Very excited about it. I thought it was very fitting. I went above and beyond. I got the extra hollow box. You can see the hollow box actually goes all the way around the box. It's beautiful, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Um, you're actually gonna see a couple, you actually will see some of the pack arts here. There's Pantera obviously, which I just revealed today. So that's quite nice. And then we've got all the text and everything, all the lore and everything on the back, uh, barcodes, everything you gotta have, the how to play guide and everything. And then you've actually got, here's four booster pack arts. They may change though, but you can see we have four booster pack arts ready. And I'm just gonna pretend like the other thing that's in front of you is not something that I, uh, I'm gonna talk about. <laughs> so you guys can make your own, um, own assessments there. 36, 10 cards packs per box. So 36 packs, 10 cards per pack. All right, let's get this shrink wrap open. And again, we will have custom shrink wrap as well. So we're gonna have custom shrink wrap when that when the time comes. Let's get it. And you can see the hollow box looks so good. Like that's so clean to me. One other thing too that we're discussing is actually having the inside of the box decorated. Currently, the inside of the boxes are just white. They're just white boxes on the inside. The prototype of starter decks, we actually had the color on the inside. I think we're gonna try to do that again. It's a cost thing, but I think it'll it'll look really good. So so let's see it. Opening the first ever Elestrals booster box prototype, only 50 in the world ever made. Are you guys ready? The first thing we see, no box topper. <laughs> and the packs are, uh, are, are flipped. So, um, okay, so that's fine. I'll make a note of that. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the box topper. And by the way, I recognize by streaming this that there could be things that go wrong. I want to just be like really transparent about the process. Like, you know, I assure you that th these things will be resolved though. I'm not concerned in the slightest. So upside down, yes. So we've got the first ever booster pack here. They're all going to be Pentera booster packs, but they'll be uh, they'll be updated later to have the different pack arts. Very clean, looks good to me. We have a little uh, slit on the top, if you guys can see that, to make it easy to tear, which is really cool. So the card trick should be one from the back. And it's, nope, okay. What is the card trick? I don't know what the card trick is. I thought it, it should, it's supposed to be one from the back. So I'll figure that out, let's see. So we've got a Jota, oh wait. All right, well I'll see what it is. Maybe maybe the rare is in the back. Um, oh, the, the crimp is gonna be longer as well, yes. The crimp is gonna be longer on the final packs as well. Okay, well let's see what we got. So we got a Jotaya, Rummagem, Clovey, Necroff, Scout, which was just revealed, Foamy, Ivory, <laughs> the leaks, Javelantis, Holographic Zapter, yo! Okay, so maybe this pack, I think I know why the, the, the pack was different, but this is the first Alt Art Hollow Zapter. The first Alt Art Hollow Zapter. Look at that. Look at that, dude. That's so sick. That's so sick. Oh, baby. Look at that. And again, there's going to be some leaks just naturally. I'll leak all the cards by accident. It does. Okay. So that's like a, a small thing, right? So there is supposed to be a card trick where the spirit comes here, but I see what they did and I understand why it was conveyed that way. So what they did is the hollow is supposed to be the second to last card intentionally. So the hollow is not the last thing in the pack. So the spirit is supposed to be the last card. And then you move one spirit to the front and then you, that's your card trick. But because the first pack had a hollow spirit in it, they put it up 
they put the rare behind it, if that makes sense. But I'll have to fix that because it should be that the 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 spirit should always be last, even if it's hollow. So, Sharon's Obel, Gorgon's Gaze, Jataya, Rumagem, Clovey, Necklace of Harmonia, Altar, Shield of Achilles. There we go. Oh, <laughs> I leaked. <laughs> Full art Imperial holographic. There you go. There's your leaks. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's so funny, dude. I knew there was gonna be leaks. I knew it. I knew it. It looks great, man. It looks great. It's like, oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Well then. Well then. Um. Wow. All right. Well, this is exciting. This is exciting. We have we have officially reached the uh, the best part. So each of these prototype boxes should have one stellar rare in it um this one has the stellar rare in it uh for the official release stellar rares will not be one per box uh they will be much rarer than that probably one per 10 or one per 20 or one per 50 boxes they're gonna be very rare but you're about to get kind of the biggest stellar spoiler you can see right now so let's do it or scout or smog or seer all right next to each other Ignector. I mean, honestly, it's it's not ideal, but it's convenient. That's for sure. Uh, like a vault, Griffuse, Spark it, Zapter, and here we go. Are you? I'm so excited for this. Yeah, <laughs> Stellar, Emphorix, in all its glory, my friends. And this is number five out of twelve. You can see it's a little hard to see, but it is number five out of twelve. This will be one of the top illustrials cards of all time and you can see it's beautiful here on the box as well i was gonna reveal this in a few weeks but here you go it decided to reveal itself today uh i think this is probably my favorite card uh in the set oh uh does that mean there's only 11 others out there yes there's only 11 other stellar rare emphorics out there they all are in boxes in my house right now because i have all the boxes that does, this does not count towards Kickstarter Stellar Rares. No, Kickstarter Stellar Rares will have a different number. These all have prototype stamps on them, guys. These, these do not count as Kickstarter. Let me make that really clear. The cards I'm opening today are not the Kickstarter cards. This is a test prototype print run I did to get ready for Kickstarter, to find any potential issues, all that stuff. These are prototype stamps. There's a different stamp on the Kickstarter one, so they're very different. Uh, it, like the effects are going to be updated, text is updated, everything's in it. Like so much has been changed since these were submitted to be printed. So, um, like I submitted this print maybe six weeks ago. Spark it, Signectric, Astrabit, woo, and the regular Emperor. It's a good day today. We got both. We got both. Very nice. Very nice. Amp up, Scavagem, Spy Nymph, Sakurasaur. And a hollow Pandasin! Oh, it's so beautiful! It's so beautiful! I love this guy. Like, I feel like Panda is like, it's the mascot of the community. Like, the hardcore Alessio's community that's been there since day one. Y'all, this is the card that I think, when I think of the community, I think of Panda. I think of Pandasin. Because this is a community made Alessio. Like, this directly came from me saying, hey, come up with an idea for an Alessio. Let's do it together. And Plague Doctor Panda was what happened, and Nani made an incredible Elestral, and I love it so much. It's very good, it's very good effect, and it's a beautiful card. Crack Kid, Sluggle, Typhlant, Spark It, Signectric. This got buffed hard, by the way. This is an old effect. A Strabit, and a uh, good old Nectar of the Gods. A little Nectar of the Gods. Volcanic Forge, Atlantis. We got all the stadiums together. <laughs> Aramare. Syracuse, Chrysor, and Holographic Cracking! It's been leaked! <laughs> Yo, it looks so good though. It looks so good though. Holographic Cracking. We got Lycoris, Sorlet, Foloi, Volcan- Oh, here's the gauntlet of uh, stadiums. Olympus, Waspire, Kinleo, Cinder, and Holographic Leonite, dude! Let's go! I love it. That's so hype. Holographic Leonite, man. That's a beauty right there. Does it feel weird to open my own cards? This is a crazy thing, man. Like, this is a crazy thing to be doing right now. Um, I mean, I'm I'm legitimately 
in awe right now. This is, this is... Hey, a little hollow Glidesdale action. Nice. That's a, that's a good one, dude. I'm very happy to not see print lines either. One of the print runs I did had print lines on the cards. And, you know, I mentioned it and it was, a, it was one of those things where they used a sample hollow. Again, quantity, right? So it's nice to see no print lines on these. That was something that I really cared about. You know, like I said, some of this other stuff, the packs being out, that's, that's all easy stuff to fix, man. That's no problem. Um, but the, that kind of, the other stuff, the cards, the cards have to be in good shape. They got to look good for people. Do you feel the card feel? Uh, are we, we are printing on a very premium card stock, Hollow. Uh, our, I showed people earlier, our card stock is very, very premium, which is obviously more expensive too, but the cards are very, they're, uh, they're much thicker, which is very cool. Ooh, we got a circle the sky hollow, the first ever circle the sky hollow. Yes, dude. This is a very iconic card, man. This is the first ever Nexus card that we made. And it's obviously a play mat as well. And I just, I love me some circle the sky, baby. Such a beautiful card. It looks so good too, his hollow. Looks so good. So good. What's up, Gage? What's good, what's good. So we, we've got quite a few hollows. I don't know how many are gonna be left, but we definitely have quite a few here. I think there would be 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we should have more. I think there's 15 in this box, but again, it's gonna be it's gonna be approximately 12 for Kickstarter. Some things are a little different. Drops of Leith, carry on. So this is another one where the order is a little botched. And a Stratomod! I'll t I don't care if the order is botched when I get a Stratomod. That's beautiful. As I'm very excited. This is the first uh, first time I've gotten proper Stratomoth Hollow. This is kind of one of my uh, one of my like mascot Elestrals, I would say. Um, it was it was actually the first Elestral monster that was designed that wasn't a spirit. Riceros ended up being designed technically before this, but it was Riceros was originally designed as a spirit. This was ne this was always designed to be you know an Elestral, but the Nimbug Stratomoth line was the first Elestrals. Uh, were, were actually uh, create like it was the first ones made so really cool to get a stratomoth P gust uh, we got sorlet scavagem spine imp sakurasaur and the pandora's box holographic it looks so good I was actually really looking forward to seeing this as a hollow how many hollows will there be in set one uh as of right now there's approximately I'm gonna say 34 to 40 hollows but a lot of those like um, more than half of those are like alternate art so the one thing I wanted to make sure that was the case with Elestrals is that the game wasn't like pay to play right or like pay to win the starter decks are gonna have really good cards in them too like the some of the best cards in the game, like Nectar of the Gods and stuff like that, are gonna be in the starter decks. So they'll have non-hollow variations in the starter decks. So what I wanted to do is like have a level of collectability and rarity for people, but also make it so that the, the best cards were not locked behind this absurd chance to get. Um, some, like listen, some cards like Empherix, for example, that's a card that only is gonna come in hollow. But the chances of pulling a regular Hollow Empherix, like, you'll be able to pull them. It's not like it's going to be one in a, a million boxes, right? The Stellar Empherix, you're probably not going to get it. It's going to be really rare. You're going to have to get really lucky to find that. But they have the same exact effect. So they're the exact same card play-wise. play, play -wise. So I think it'll be very, very feasible. We got Warmite. We got Thunderstorm. Bag of Winds. Tornado. And the Nectar of the Gods, a couple nogs today, a little, little nog action. Very nice. Yeah, the game, are there full art cards? So this is one of them. Uh, this is an Imperial full art, but we do have other full arts. I've shown some of them on the Discord and on the, on the YouTube channel and, uh, and things like that. I encourage you to check some of them out because some of the full arts are actually insane. Um, some of them are in actually just incredible. The Imperial one is dope, but the, some of the other ones in my opinion are, are actually way better. We've got a Lycoris, a Crackid, Sluggle, Typhlant, Smoltuga, Veritaqua, Necklace, 
Altar of Stars, Shield of Achilles, and a Circle the Sky to finish it off. That was really good. I'm very happy with that. That was super cool. That was super cool. So some great little pieces of feedback. I'll recap the hollows. We got the Nectar. We got the Stratomoth. Pandora's Box. Circle the Sky. Glidesdale. Leonite. Cracking. Imperial. Cracking. Nectar. Panda. I'm very excited about the Panda. Amphirix. Stellar Amphirix, which you can see has a different hollow pattern and it's numbered. Zapter. Circle the Sky. Uh, very, very cool. Um, I do not know what happened to the Pentera box topper. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm actually very uh, confused as to why there is no Pentera box topper. The reason I'm confused is because I saw the sheets with Pentera on it. So where did those Pentera go? I do not know. Um, I, I, there's a part of me that wants to open another box. I'm not gonna open the packs but I think I'm gonna open the box and just see if the box topper's there. Part of me also wonders if it's in another box in my in my in the boxes they sent and they sent them separately and there was a misunderstanding, but yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. I've got a bunch of boxes I gotta open up, so I'll have to check and see kind of what happened with that. This is for another day, so we'll have to save that. But that that was that was really cool. That was really cool. So um, thank you guys so much for being a part of this. I, I just, this was, this was really dope. Like, this is a really special moment for me. And, um, I know it's not perfect, like I said, but it's really great kind of learning to figure out what I got to fix and what needs to be updated and stuff. And again, I know a lot of this stuff is, is result of not being mass production, which may sound counterintuitive, but because it wasn't mass produced, it was done differently. Like the, um, the process in which the cards were packed was different than it will be for mass. So that's great stuff. Well, that's that. I mean, that's what I wanted to show you guys. I really appreciate y'all hanging out with me. What a special day that was. And uh, I got so I got some emails to send. So <laughs> I appreciate y'all. I'll have more openings. I, I have more boxes to open. I'm just not gonna do them this second, but I'll definitely be opening some more boxes and maybe doing some giveaways and stuff for packs. So uh, exciting time. So thank you guys. And if you guys have any feedback, you're welcome to like tweet it at me or whatever, message me or whatever. Um, but very good stuff. So thank you guys. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys soon. All right. Peace. <laughs>